Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique fat man, the Striker, in Fallout 4's new DLC, Far Harbor, which of course you will need installed to acquire this weapon. So secondly, we need to come to Beaver Creek Lanes. This can be found just to the southwest of the town of Far Harbor. Now be sure to come prepared for quite a fight with a large number of ghouls, both on the outside and the inside. Now once inside, we want to run straight ahead, jump over this railing over the lounge, and on this wall here, there is a hole. Head through the hole, down the stairs, turn to the right through these doors, head all the way to the other side of this room, up the stairs, turn to the right where the red light is, go up those stairs, and then in this back room here on the table is the striker. It sure is a striking sight. And of course, be sure to pick it up. And as always, before we look at the striker's base stats, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bobblehead poke or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. Now there's some interesting things we should know about the striker. It is in fact a uniquely named fat man, however, its special effect is applied by a modification known as the bowling ball modification. This can be taken off the striker and applied to any other fat man in the game. Now this the bowling ball modification uses a special type of ammunition, the modified bowling ball. Now from the table where we find the striker, if we turn directly around, there will be a terminal behind us on a table. It is vital that you sit down and have a read of this terminal. Once here, you need to go to the second option, that was close. And after reading it, your character will learn the schematics for the modified bowling ball. If you head to a chemistry station and head down the bottom to utility, in this tab there will be the modified bowling ball, which as we can see, it requires one acid, one bowling ball, and one oil to create. Luckily, the striker is found within a bowling alley, so there are around 10 bowling balls that can be found in here to help you get started on your modified bowling ball ammunition collection. Now, there's absolutely no modding needed because, of course, the special effect is applied with a mod, and the fat man only has one mod slot, so exactly how we pick it up is exactly how we're going to be using it. As we can see, it has a base ballistic damage of 100. Now, although it says there, it uses the bowling ball as ammunition. As we know, it uses the modified bowling ball as ammunition. Its fire rate is 1, its range is 117, its accuracy is 63, its weight is 30.7, and its value is 2,512 caps. As we can see up the top there, the striker, 50% chance to cripple the target's leg. That is of course applied by a legendary effect attached to the striker, and is not part of the bowling ball modification. So the striker, what exactly are we doing? dealing with here. Well, after maxing out the heavy gunner perk and maxing out the bloody mess perk, I was able to get the striker's damage up to 230, which isn't too impressive. And I'm gonna say straight off the bat, or should I say straight off the lane, <laughs> ooh. It's just a goofy bit of Fallout fun, and in no way is it a practical weapon choice. But who needs practicality when you receive instant satisfaction by blowing up someone's head with a flying bowling ball? Now the Striker has a little bit of a cool backstory to it, which you can read about in the terminal in which we found the schematics to create the modified bowling ball. But in short, two men, Mark and Matt, built the Striker so their friend Thomas, who had recently become bound to a wheelchair, could still bowl. Little did Matt and Mark know that they had actually created one of the funniest weapons I've ever seen in the Fallout universe, which is reflected in the last line of the holotape. It'd be like an awesome bowling gun. Yes, yes it will. This weapon is an absolute turkey. Now in game, when you fire one of these modified bowling balls, upon hitting an enemy, a strike sound effect will play. It sounds like this. basically the sound of pins being knocked over. Now one of the cool features is that you are able to retrieve the bowling balls that have been launched. So you fire a bowling ball, it hits the enemy, kills them, you can run back over to it and pick it up. Provided you don't fight too many enemies on hills, you should have a technically endless supply of modified bowling balls. Now something that is quite interesting, as we know, this modified bowling ball effect is applied with a modification and not with a special legendary effect. Effect. So, placing the bowling ball launcher mod on a fat man with a two-shot legendary effect, such as the unique 
Fat Man Big Boy, you can actually end up making ammunition rather than spending it, provided of course that you retrieve the projectiles. Because of course a two-shot Fat Man only requires one modified bowling ball to shoot two projectiles. So you use one ammunition, two bowling balls are then on the ground for you to pick up, you've made ammunition. Now you could even do this strategically, such as standing in your house or your settlement and just shoot bowling balls at the wall. Then pick them all up, it's nice and easy, all in a room, they're not going to roll anywhere and you've essentially doubled your ammunition. You do this for 5-10 minutes, you're going to have a lifetime supply of modified bowling ball ammunition. Which is good because bowling balls aren't exactly a common junk item. So really all you need is one and the big boy and you're set for life. As you will have some spare ammunition. But apart from the humour and the ammunition duping, it's really not a practical weapon. The damage isn't high enough, the weight is huge, it fires slowly and there's just hundreds of better weapons. I'm not here to frame it, but the striker really is a gutter ball. And it stepped far beyond the foul line of impracticality. And although this weapon might not be up your alley, it will at least open your mind. And here it is, the striker in action. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my guide for the unique Fat Man, the Striker. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides. If you wear pants four days a week, be sure to follow me on Twitter, the link can also be found in the description. And as always, I would like to thank Thank you very much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.